What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Monster Dog Day from Poppy Playtime. For today's lesson, we'll need a plain white piece of paper and a pencil. I'll be drawing with this 07 millimeter mechanical pencil with a 2B graphite stick. And if you want more details on our art supplies, I'll leave a list with links in the description below. Let's begin by blocking out the basic pose and shapes of our character. We're gonna start by sketching a line coming down the center of our page. So we'll start at the very top of the middle. It's gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom using these short lines. Let's move to the center and draw another line going across from left to right. Now I'm going to use these two lines to help us create a circle in the center of our page to define the size of the head. So from the center point, let's move up. It's going to mark off the top of our circle. Let's measure that distance from the center down towards the bottom. And then we'll repeat that across this horizontal line, measuring the distance from the center over towards the left and then down towards the right. Now let's connect the center point of each mark with a curve to create our circle. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to define the size of the head. Just going all the way around, smoothing this out. Let's add two lines coming down the side of our circle. So we'll start with the left side, coming all the way down towards the bottom. Do the same thing on the right. Now let's use some basic shapes to block out the pose. From the outside line, let's step in, draw two straight lines coming down to right about there. Now I want to connect these two lines with a curve, coming down the middle and then back up. Let's pull the side of the belt in. So from these two corners on the hip, let's step in, draw two short lines coming down, and then we'll round out the bottom. From the bottom corners of the belt, let's curve the body, going out and then down towards the bottom. Connect the bottom with a curve. Now we're going to go back up to the top. We just want to bend the arms going up towards the elbow. Let's start from the top of the body. I'm just going to angle this up and then out towards that center line to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right, going up and then out. From the elbow, let's sketch a small circle. And then from the outside of the circle, let's bend the arm going out and then pull that in. Let's do the same thing on the right, coming all the way down and then in towards the same height. Now let's add some thickness to the arm. Let's start from the bottom of the circle. We're going to come straight in with an angled line. Now as you come in towards the body, we're just going to bend that down towards the side. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming straight in and then bending that down. Now let's go back to the inside of the circle. We're going to follow that same curve coming around the arm and then down towards the wrist to right about there. Let's draw a straight angled line going across the wrist. Let's block in the thumb from the wrist, bend this in and then down. Round up the thumb. Now I want to follow that same curve going up and then out towards the wrist. Let's go to the outside of the wrist. I'm going to draw the first finger, coming around and then in. Round up the finger and following that same curve, tucking that in behind the thumb. Now I want to add one more finger in behind, starting from the tip, come around, and just tuck that up underneath the thumb. Now with the head, we want to tilt it forward, so we're going to take the side, add a curve, coming down the middle, and then up. Now right where this curve meets that center line, let's draw the nose. Start with the curve going up and then down, and the ends come down and then in towards the center. Let's draw the top of the mouth, starting from the tip of the nose, come down, bend this up toward the left and right side. And then on the end, we're just going to curve this out toward the side of our circle. Let's open up the mouth. From the side, we'll step in, curve this down, in towards the middle, and then back up on the right. Now I want to draw the outside of the muzzle, starting from the left side, go up above the nose, and then bring that down. Let's curve this around and up. Go around the corner of the mouth and then pull that in. Now let's trace the mouth along the outside. Coming down from the left, in towards the chin, back up on the right side. Now I want to place the eyes on top of the muzzle, leaving a gap in the center. Let's go to the left and go in and then up towards the top on both sides. Let's round up the top of the eye, come down in an angle toward the outside, 
and then bend that in. Now we're gonna go back to the top of the cheeks. We're just gonna curve the brow going up above the eye. Let's bend that in towards the center point. Do the same thing on the right, going up and then down towards the right cheek. Now let's add in the ears. We're gonna start from the left side of the brow, curve this out around the cheek and then in. Then we'll move up towards the top of the brow. Let's start with the left side, going up and out. Line it up on the right, going out and then down toward that center line. Sort of aiming towards the elbows. Let's round up the ear, come down and then in towards the bottom of the ear. Now let's go back to the body. In the center, just underneath the chin, let's draw a circle. Starting from the bottom of the mouth, going all the way around and back up. Let's add that patch across the body. Starting on the left, come straight down, bend that in towards the belt. Let's go down towards the bottom of the belt, come down and then in towards the bottom. Now we're gonna block in the straps across the elbow. Let's start from the inside. Just gonna bend this out and then up. Step down and draw that again. Let's do the same thing on the right side, going across the elbows. Let's go to the top, curve the elbow. We're gonna draw the strap going out and then bend that up towards the top of our page. Draw that again on the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right. Bending this out and then up. Now I want to draw another strap going across the upper arm. Now we're gonna draw this on top of the ear. So start with a curve. Step in, draw that again. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now from the top, we're gonna draw a strap going straight up. Let's start with the outside, going up. Step in, draw that again. Do the same thing on the right. Now there's two more straps across the top of the head. Let's start with the one in the center. Draw two lines going up. Move over on top left ear and draw that again. Okay, so now that we got the rough sketch in place, let's go back and clean this up by erasing some of these guidelines. Now we're gonna use this rough sketch as a guide to help us add some more detail and refine the shapes. Let's start with the nose and we wanna darken up our contours at the same time. So starting up along the top. Now with the nose, I'm just gonna lightly shade this in with a medium shade. Let's work our way across the mouth, starting from the center. Now I'm gonna be applying some thick and thin lines. So adding the thick lines across the bottom of our shapes just to give it a bit of weight. Just gonna leave the side of the cheek open just in case you want to bring the ear on top. Along the inside of the ear, we're just going to add a fold. It's going to pull this up to right about there along the side of the head. And we'll just finish off the cheeks.
also going to add a fold across the top of the ear. So just pulling this up on the head. I'm just going to taper this down towards the point. I'm just going to layer the back side from behind. Now with the belt, we're just going to add the end coming out toward the left. So we'll start with the top, step down, just going to trace that out, just round out the end of the belt. I'm just going to draw the outside of the buckle. I'm going to add those points going around that circle. Now we're going to tear up the bottom edge of the body. So starting on the left, add these little points going across. Continue that zipper down the middle. I'm just going to add the back side of some of those tears in behind the body along the bottom. Just pulling these points coming down. And it'll just darken up the inside. Now working our way across the arms. Strap on top. Now with these straps, I'm going to add the buckle inside. With the arms, gonna add some stitches going across the wrist. Now with these straps on top, I want to add a buckle going across. Let's 
is wrap that buckle around the side of the strap. Now we're just going to use the side edge of our pencil to add some tones to those straps. We want to go around those buckles. And then we're going to add a little bit of a shadow along the inside bottom of the character. So we'll start with the arm on the left. I'm just going to darken this up and then fade that out. And add a little bit of shadow to the thumb, also to that back finger. And these shadows are going to help us give some more shape to our character. Let's darken up the inside of the eyes and the mouth.
Now, as we get near the end, we're just gonna tighten up our shadows and add a little bit more detail, and always be sure to send our artwork, and that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Monster Dog Day from Poppy Playtime. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I wanna thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. If you're interested in learning more about today's art supplies, then stick around. This is the Nick Pro Mechanical Pencil. The five-piece set comes complete with five drafting pencils, four tubes of lead refills for all the different sizes, two erasers, also nine-piece eraser refills, two lead sharpeners with a pack of colored leads. And all of this is neatly packed in a gift storage box. Now, since I started using this pencil back in 2023, it's really changed the level of my drawings. The heavier weight of the pencil has helped me create smoother and more controlled lines. And with the wide variety of lead sizes, I can easily transition from high detail to smooth shading. And Nick Pro also has a fun color set for those who want something a little bit more lightweight. I used to think that all pencils are created equal, but since using this Nick Pro mechanical pencil, it's been a game changer for my art. Now, if you want to give this pencil a try, I'll leave the link in the description below. 